Hello there, guys, girls, gamers, everyone, it's me, Jenny Parts, and we are back in If My Heart Had Wings, and my, well, my request has been fulfilled, um, a very, very nice person named Natsume Kuyosuke, I hope I spelled that correctly, wouldn't that be very awkward, uh, has given me a slight crash course, in spelling Japanese names and I will do my very best uh, to fulfill and and to to do that right um, so thank you for that Natsume Kuyosuke and let's dive right in um, he or she I think it's a he I, I googled the name uh, and I think it's a reference to Little Busters and it's the main protagonist, and it's a male, so probably a he, if I'm wrong. I'm terrible, sorry. It's not easy on the internet. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, what the question was also, why do I uh, read the other characters' text? Which is a valid point, since they have uh, all the Japanese... Um, Holy crap, that, that noise is really annoying. Um, they have Japanese voices and, you know, uh, I'm a male and I'm really not good at voicing females. Uh, but the reason I read the text out loud is because I fear that if I read it silently in my head, I will click forward too fast and not say enough during the let's play um, I will try to work out if, if, if more people feel that way uh, please leave a comment if you say oh my god don't ever read female voices out again it's okay comment down below um, I will look how other let's players handle this um, because there would be silent silent moments in the game you cannot see it I, I just bumped my microphone and yeah I try to, to find a way uh, if you want that so let me know in the comments what you actually prefer and I will do as I'm told because I'm doing this for you guys uh, or girls or gamers everyone uh, so let's let's jump right in because I cannot stand the noise anymore. The scorching sun came in. Uh, what? The scorching sun comes shining in. So up on the roof with nothing but to block the sunlight, it feels even more like I'm being burned. Why are you on the roof? Today is hot as hell. I grumble as I wipe the sweat from my bro. Bro, bro, <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro. Hey, bro. Hey bro, you have sweat on you. Bro fist. No, sorry. Sorry, I'm PewDiePie if you're watching this. Hello, I'm there with Geneva. Um, can we stop that? I don't know what it is. It's already 7 o'clock. It's just before the peak of summer and the sun is finally shining at full strength. Today is Saturday, so there's no school. But there's some horrible noise, like something is dying. Now is my chance to get some of the dorm water work done. Is, is roofing uh, dorm water work? Because it sounded like you're doing the roofs. This morning I climbed up on the roof and I'm fixing leaks. So that's that's what the dorm mother does? Climbing up on the roof? I don't think so. I don't... I... You know, no matter how different Japanese and European cultures are. But I don't think that the dorm mother goes up on the roof to fix the little reeky loof, loof, roof. This building is in a pretty bad condition. I heard that the owner who collapsed a few days ago and who was also the caretaker here is an elderly woman. Because it was a girl's dormitory with no guys around, there were quite a few places that had been left damaged. So... I think... And I would disagree with that, and I think a lot of people would, actually. Because um, I think a girl is just as capable uh, to fix um, stuff than a guy is. 
No, it's just my opinion. This place is so old that I can't help wondering if originally it was aiming to be registered as cultural heritage site. The owner, who is a widow, opened the manor house as a student dormitory before I was born. Which means that when there were when, when we were calling this place the Witch Mansions, students from Keifu Academy were already living here. Since then, the owner had been taking care of the boarding school students like they were her own children or grandchildren. Children, children, it's children, children parts. However, since the redevelopment plans were brought forward, land prices in Kasigura, Katsigara, I am terrible, sorry, have been rising. The owner's son were hope, sons were hoping to let go of this place and that one of the reasons why I was brought to take on the dorms while the job in such a hurry. It might be hard to avoid getting involved in those kind of adult matters, so I will just quietly get on with the work that I have to do. Uh, again, I don't think roofing is like that. Alright, that should do it. Finishing the repairs of the roof, I climbed down the ladder. Okay, next is... Uh, wah, wah. <laughs> okay, I don't need to voice head, but I do it anyway because it's so funny. Um, come on, head. Head, who was pecking at the soil, had come closer to where I was going to put my feet... To put my... F I was going to put my feet as I climbed down. Okay, I, f I understand. This is kind of besides the point, but ducks eat weeds and bugs, so it seems that if I just leave him to it, he will maintain the garden. However, he will also peck at the flowers and so on too, so the person doing the gardening needs to watch out for that. Aren't you doing the gardening? I mean, you do the roof. What's up, pet? Where's your buddy? Okay, I have no idea what he's saying, but he definitely looks bored. Uh, sorry, but I've got work to do. When I get back, I give you a bath. <laughs> it's, isn't that the cutest thing? The door to Kotori, Kotori's room was closed. I couldn't hear any sound and there were no signs that she was awake. Still asleep, huh? Sleepy head? Hey, Kotori! Wake up, Alule! <laughs> hey, Miss Alule! <laughs> Shut up, what do you want? I'm going to do some shopping. Do you want to come with me? Huh? I try to do it without uh, reading. So she's asking uh, if we if we if we woke her up for that. Her face seems to say, if this was America and I sued you, you would lose. Here, <laughs> oversleeping. It's a nice sunny day. Let's go outside. No, it's a fair question why you have to go shopping with me. I, it's an experiment for, for the sake of, 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 of an experiment. If you dislike it, please let me know in the comments. Okay. Okay. Um... It's shopping for the dormitory. You eat too, don't you? Okay. Okay. Agea. I I have studied this. Agea is her name. That's that's how you say it. Seeing Agea gives a great big wave, Kotori makes an annoyed face. Hey Agea! Ohayo, it's good morning! Hey, cool! Ohayo! Okay, that's... Ah, that's whispering to me. Well, sorry. I didn't know that. It's fine. There's something I need help with. I had planned from the beginning to meet up with Akia. 
That's because I want her as a special advisor for today's work. Right, let's go. Igo, igo. Igo, igo. She doesn't seem too pleased with Agia being here. Agia, Agia, I've fallen back into my old patterns. We arrived at the underground street of the shopping mall. There are many stylish shops in the shopping arcade, and there's also a large supermarket. I push Katori along in her wheelchair and go around buying the food with Agea. What do we need? Okay, that sounds like an elaborate meal. Oh, don't be sad, Katori. Katori looks like she still doesn't agree with the fact that Agea is with us. She looks at me like she's trying to put a curse on me. I got Agea to think of a menu for me for tonight's dinner. Seems that the things that I make aren't the kind of things that girls like. So... Oh, well... That you don't, you know, suck in your room. Because you can uh, carry the bags. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the worst thing you can say. Katori is doing a good job of carrying the green supermarket basket. Now she doesn't look too pleased in her chibi form. Akea and I keep slinging more and more ingredients into the basket. Paprika powder, whole tomato, nama ham, sore kara. That's that's just like English. Paprika powder, whole tomato. That's cool. Whip whip. <laughs> I'm sorry. She she's really not happy. Is she. I'll get some mineral water. <laughs> if she wasn't happy before, now she isn't. <laughs> but you have, don't have to carry it around. You can just put it on your lap, can you? <laughs> okay. Well, I guess it's the dormitory's money. I'm not sure. Oh! Paprikuman chips. I remember these. Oh, she slings them in. <laughs> Death potato warning. Death pot. What is this? What is this? That looks intriguing. Is that like Link? It looks like Link. Uh, also, we'll soon be out of rice. Let's buy some while we're here. Okay, <laughs> I don't think um, Katori uh, appreciates the way you're treating her. <laughs> no, she doesn't. With all the ingredients for all the borders, before we knew it, the basket that Katori was carrying was full. <laughs> That's exactly what they're doing. As she complained, Katori was very careful to not to let the contents of the basket fall out. Don't drop anything. Hi, <laughs> 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 uh. Well, but don't eat everything at once. Today's shopping is being paid for with the operating costs of the dormitory, so we can't really buy things we don't need. Having said that, she hel she's helping me out. You can get very, very cool. <laughs> Work and reward imbalance, that's called. There's actually a test for that. Have it your way. I decide to treat her to a strawberry Hagen Dark. Hagen Dark. Hagen Dark. Huh. With my own money. 
Have it your way. It's actually Burger King, not ice cream. Is this one okay? We finish at the cash register. The food costs about 50% more than usual, but tonight is a special occasion. Ah, jeez, I forgot to buy ground meat. Okay. It's for tomorrow. It's a pain to have to keep going to buy food all the time, you know? I leave them behind and go back to the store. I search for the meat in the ground meat section. If I can, I wanna get one with a discount sticker. As I thought, there aren't any at this time. <laughs> that cost for the borders food is paying on a monthly basis. The dormitory is run as a kind of a hobby by the owner, so it's just a rough estimate. But there's an upper limit established as the part of the rent agreement. The dormitory's meals follows the creed of as cheap as possible, as tasty as possible. So like every boarding school meal, meat. I look at the packs, like I was in a boarding school for five years. I lost a lot of weight at that time. And I also spent a lot of money to buy some food for myself. Uh, yeah, dormitory food is not really good. I look at the packs of beef that are lined up on the shelf. 2,980 yen for 100 grams. That This is a supermarket that celebrity women come to, so sometimes the prices for the ingredients are pretty steep. It's okay once in a while, so I'd like everyone to eat this kind of meat. I murmured to myself. Um, hello? Why are you doing my face? A girl reaches across from the side and slings the luxury marble 2,980 yen for 100 gram meat into her basket. Um, well, what you asking me? You just stole my goods. The girl who took the pack showed signs of hesitation but continued to sling more and more of the luxury marble meat into the basket. In the end, she took everything that was on the shelf. Well, are you going to use luxury marble beef in a curry? Not only that, it's thinly sliced. Huh? Ah, I was supposed to have said that on the inside, but because of the shock, I came right out and said it aloud. I mean, if you're making curry, they have meat for curry over there, see? When, well, when you stew meat this size, it becomes more tender and much smaller. If you use that kind of thin meat, the fat will melt away and you won't have any trace of it left. In her basket was about a kilogram of marbled meat to you be to be used in sukak su. Sukiyaki. Are you going to stew all of that in a curry? What a waste of good meat. As I stare at the basket, she looks at me in disbelief. <laughs> well, no, no need to be sorry for. She seems embarrassed as she said that and moved over to the fresh fish section. Did I scare her off? Yes, most likely. Are you making every curry in the world? She said as I watched from a distance her throwing sea her throwing sea bream. She said as I watched from a distance her throwing sea bream with the head and tail still on into the basket. Oh, while I reached for a pack of the cheap pork and beef ground meat. Well. At least you did not overspend, Ari. <laughs> oh, at least Katori is happy again. <laughs> well, you're not too pleased with Fagia. 
もちろんよ<笑>ねえいやよ、no. まだ何も言ってないんだけど<laughs> Those two get along very well. Oops. Oops. What? What's the? What did I just do? Uh, no worries. Uh, one, one spoonful. Okay. Yeah, yo. Spoon, one spoon is not enough. She doesn't like to share. I don't think this is how it works. Um, so you say it's okay if I eat from the spoon of another guy because I'm a guy? Because I'm not okay with that. Okay? Let's, let's make that perfectly clear. I don't need the saliva of anyone else on my spoon. No means no. And with that, dear guys, girls, gamers and everyone else, Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we have daylight like, savings time as of today, and I'm not really awake yet. I'm I'm many things, but I'm not a morning morning person. So we are in the 20, 20 around 10, 20 minutes. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, again, let me know. I'm sorry in the comments. Uh, if I should voice the girls or read the girls' text out aloud, I cannot voice the girls. Reasonable. Because my voice is much too deep for that. And in the next episode, I will, because I'm recording that right after this one, I will read the girls' voices again. So you have um, time to decide. So let me know what you think. And so, best regards from the parents. I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>